You're going to read closely for textual evidence. Read closely. That means not skim and scan, not like our guided reading questions. As you're reading, or once you've read through it, whichever you and your partner choose, you're going to go back and highlight your answers to these two focus questions. These are your two focus questions that you need to be thinking about. So in order for you to come up with answers, like I said, it can't be prior knowledge. It needs to be text-based. So you're going to go back, highlight. Then once you've done that, now you're going to look at your photos, OK? Your photos, some of them will support what you come up with for evidence and answers. Some of them will be just simply observations or more support for you, more answers for you. You're going to decide that. So in the space next to the photos, you'll notice that I've left that blank purposefully. That's where you're going to put your observation, your note taking of what you see. After you've done that, you will identify which images support the textual evidence. Like I said, not all of the images will support what you've come up with for your textual evidence. But it doesn't change that I still want you to observe them all and take notes and then star the ones that directly support what you've come up with from the text. We good so far? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay. Lastly, you're going to record your answers to both focus questions on the construction paper that I will provide. So what I want you to do right now, class, is underneath your chairs, underneath your desks, you'll find a highlighter, you'll find the packet of pictures or images, and you'll find one page that is the two readings, and you're going to find this T-chart. 